and dream no more because the matchup is upon us as we take you first on the field presented by Microsoft Surface here in Denver as the Colts take on the Broncos with the winner heading on to New England next Sunday night. Four wides and all on third and two. Here comes the pressure. Locke holds on to it, just gets back to the line. Anderson is good to go back in. They can extend the drive, and they do not. And Sanders has the catch. Taya Payton got hit at the end of that by Arthur Jones, and a flag is out. Pass complete to Sanders and roughing the passer, says Bill Levy. Running back, the penalty puts the football at the 45 of the Colts. And there's Anderson running like there was nothing wrong at all. First down from the 34. As Manning throws it down the field, and he's got Julius Thomas out of bounds at the one. They mark it at the two as Julius Thomas. you got to make the adjustment. Anderson had eight rush touchdowns the last six games of the regular season, but up top, it's a touchdown to Demarius Thomas. Right over Leron Landry. Wideouts, no Reggie Wayne. And luck from the pocket. For this play, Tipton replaces him. They fake to Tipton on second and eight. And what a grab it is by Knicks for a first down. Six straight pass plays. And another one coming up. As Heron is tackled by Marshall behind the line. It's Doyle who was actually over there. Here's a punch for the second time. McAfee gets hit. And there is a flag out. He was hit by Stewart. Backup running back. Running into the kicker, number 27 of the defense. Penalties declined. And Anderson with that line giving all kinds of room. Gets him out of a pinch all the way to the 25, a 21 quarterback in the NFL. So when those legs are hurt, that's going to affect his performance. Here he is on third and 12 from the gun. His pass incomplete. And Colquitt is out to punt. To Cribs. Contact right away. Reggie Wayne is back in wide to the right. And Hilton is open in a seam. Second and seven. Play action and luck. Has Gleaner for another first down. Second and 13. Luck fires it. He's got Hilton again across the middle. They go Heron. He goes left. He's in the end zone for the touchdown. What a call. What a play. Designed perfectly. They take advantage of a stout defensive front. A defense that's fast. They run a little counter. Second and nine. Wide open. It's Sanders. Johnny Hillman, the running back, second and three. And it's Hillman with a first down. As Greg Minuski, the coordinator, looks on here, third and 12. Trying to get the Broncos off the field. And this is strip. And a recovery by the Colts. Freeman falls on it. Newsom was the one who forced it. After the takeaway from the 41 of the Broncos. And it's a flea flicker. Luck looks downfield and it's well covered up, so he goes underneath to Doyle. Vaughn Miller nicks in a slot to the right. Second and seven. Open. It's Heron again. Luck with pressure. Got it away and right into the arms of Moncrief with a flag. From the six. Bacon to the line and looking around and from behind. Got it away and it's incomplete. Third and goal. Shakes off the hit, rolls out, fires, flag. Pass was incomplete, going for Hilton. Prior to the pass, holding. Number 21 defense. Nick's at the top. 
Hilton stacked on the right side. But looking left and finding Allen for the touchdown, Indianapolis. Number 12 in college, West Virginia. Here's the first down pass play by Peyton going deep. And he overthrows Sanders. In the slot and a blitz up the middle, or at least a fake blitz. Third and nine. Again, deep. Sanders unable to reach out and pull it in. He had a step on Toller. Yep, it was a huge key in this game coming in. And Andrew Luck has moved a couple times to avoid the pass rush when it does get there. That was their third pre-snap penalty, so it's a first and 15. And Luck gets away from the pressure, takes off with it. A flag has been thrown, but 22nd ranked in the regular season on the ground. Oh, that's just a slip. Split out as a receiver. Luck threw it to him for a gain of 10. Third and four. His pass was intended for Fleener. And a Terry kick wide right. Starting point of a drive today for Denver. And a gift to Anderson. Second and ten. Quick throw to Thomas, who dropped it because it would have put him in field goal range. Now a third and ten. And again, looking long for Sanders, and it's not there. Boy, they think they're going to be able to, to get that one at some point. Trips. Let's it bounce around. Hand off to Heron. Breaks the tackle. He goes out of bounds. All the way back to the goal line. Stepping up and launching it. And it's intercepted by Roby near midfield. Peyton and the Broncos. Been stymied to one. Only 111 yards so far. And again, Demarius Thomas. Showed, showed this blitz before. He's got Sanders. Fake, fake short, now looking to the right side. It's Anderson and Freeman. Because they've been attacking those outside screens with cold defense, but they were ready for it. A fake and a throw. Out of bounds. And most of these third down situations have been third and long. Third and nine on this case. Down the field. Incomplete. Colquitt in the hole, and Martin delivers three. To clean things up, Jim. Okay, Vontae Davis at the top is on Demarius Thomas. Remember, Davis was shaken up at the end of the first half. Peyton on third and five, looks down the field, and the pass to Sanders is ruled incomplete. Nobody was in front of Peyton Manning, and that's a good job by Toller when the receiver goes up in the air. But watch Peyton, good job breaking the pocket, and look at that. Colts first snap of the second half. Gonna be a pass play. Over to Allen. And Allen left Western Michigan as their third all-time scorer and rebounder. Second and ten. They're getting around on the edge, but Luck steps up and finds Tipton for another first down. Obvious passing situation. Can they pressure Luck? Third and six. And he's able to get it to Moncrief for another first down. You got to put some pressure on them, too. Again, Luck protected. All kinds of time, and Hilton drops it. A long field goal. Third and 16. Luck over the top. Cleaner is there, his old roommate. Pulls it in inside the 10. That little double move was just enough. Head of Warner and Bouts and Rodgers. Del Rio's defense. Can it lock down here? Second and goal. And Luck has the time. 
Fires it to the end zone. He's got the touchdown to Nix. Boy, Akeem Nix just rips the football out of the air. This is one thing you cannot do. Somebody's got to beat press coverage. All four receivers have a defender right up at the line of scrimmage. Pass. Thrown in the area of Welker and just listen. Second and nine. Still can't get to Love. He fires it complete at the 42. A toss to Heron. Miller's there. Third and 13. And now Luck. Deep down the field. And he's intercepted by Moore. Moore was not touched down. Well, they rule him down. Moore who picked off Luck twice week one. The pass rush to make it easier for the quarterback. There's a big throw. And it's Demarius Thomas. Julius Thomas got one-on-one -on -one coverage at the top. One right. It's Demarius Thomas who didn't run a deep enough route. He's short of a first down by a yard or two. Big play here, and the Colts are in on Anderson, who breaks the tackle, breaks another one, and Anderson comes up with the biggest play, perhaps, of this game for Denver. It could be. Broken up. Broken up by Butler. And Barth is good again. There's Luck. Knocked down. Incomplete. And that's Harris denying Moncrief. Second and ten. And Luck. Knocked down again. This time it's Tlaib. He's missed his last four. Got a third and ten. Across the middle and tipped away for the third straight play by the Denver defense. They fake to Hillman. Manning's pass. Very nearly picked off. Knocked down by Davis. They blitz, coming in on Luck, who got it away, and he has an open man with the catch. It's Hilton. And then watch Andrew Luck just stand in the pocket. There is no space. Everybody around him gets hit. And a first down run by Heron. You'll see Dad on the sideline with that stogie getting a workout. He wasn't tipping second and four. Tipton has the first down. First down for the Colts from the 36. Zerlon tipped him. So the play calling, maybe that's why they've been running the football here. And throw it this time. The ball was tipped, but caught by Doyle, who stays on his feet. A drive that's gone over five minutes. Heron, he's got the first down. They pick up a first just outside of the three. They're going to try to get it on the ground, and Heron is going to be backed up about four from 30. And Benetari's kick is good. I would expect the Colts to get more aggressive. Then that would be your chance for a big play. Second and six. That's Welker with a nice catch with an open lane, which is the right thing to do. Make him throw it underneath. Second and eight down the middle, and should have been intercepted by Davis. A little different look. Pressing the receivers, a better chance to go deep. Pressure, and pass. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up. And they stay on the field, fourth and eight. Pass complete, but not very deep. And again, it's Anderson trying to make the second effort. Where will they spot it? So you can have something to really look at. Inches short. And really, if you're Denver, you've got to challenge it. This is your only hope. Here, let's bring in Mike Carey. Yeah, first off, here's the yard where it is, but if you look to the top of the screen. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field is confirmed. 
Well, yeah, rightly so. He's been in the league so long. And just think of this year, Jim, with a new different offensive thought if Adam Gase gets a job. Can they get Peyton on the field here? Can the defense stop him on third and two? Yes, they do. They plug the middle. Peyton's pass. Able to avoid the contact and get it over to Anderson. And even here in a situation like this, very difficult for Denver as it's been all day long. Second and nine. Go underneath and again, very little there for something that will consume a lot of time. All these plays that have worked for so long for the Denver Broncos, the screens, all the short throws, the picks, none of it has been productive today. Third and six. Going to pick up the first down. Anderson should head to the sideline. 34 seconds to go in this one. Who knows if there's football after this one for him as he's sacked by Walden. And today, the Colts were just a better football team. Complete to Thomas. For some reason, does not go out of bounds. And the game is over. The Colts have advanced to the AFC Championship game. It's going to be Andrew Luck against Tom Brady next Sunday at Gillette Stadium. Is this the last time we'll see Peyton Manning on the field? We're going to hear that question a lot here in the coming days. The second half of the year, this, this wasn't the same football team. It was not the same on the offensive side. They tried to change, but quite honestly, coming in today's game, I thought we were going to see old offense. It didn't happen.